any time that I pick up the phone and it's a retired player or a person who used to play this game who says, can we do a better job? That's not a message from someone who is retired. When people hold my feet to the fire, how can we do a better job? That's not a message that's coming from anyone who's decided to take the day off. We are players of the National Football League. We are one. What we have done, what you have done over the last 50 years of this game is grow the game in a way that was unimaginable at the time that many of you played. 40 million people watched the draft. 40 million people watched the NFL draft and not one game was played. That's more than the NHL playoffs and the NBA playoffs combined. So I have to tell you that my assessment about the business of football, <clears throat> business is good. Some people would say that business is even great. But I don't understand how you can have a business that is so great that operates with the gifts of a nonprofit status, operates with the gifts of an antitrust exemption, and we not know what the profit loss is per team. I can't understand how business can be great and we not understand how much money is pulled out of those teams every year. I don't understand how business can be, frankly, phenomenal, and we not understand as players, as players, what's the profit loss per team. <laughs> it is a different way of perhaps thinking about it. It is a different way, perhaps, talking about it. But when we address our core issues, can we do a better job? Can we provide more money to the pension? Can we provide more economic support for health care? Can we do a better job providing for those people who have felt and fallen on hard times? Those are all economic questions that we are asking without the basic economic answers. Make sense? So on this day, I didn't come here to find anybody who was retired, men. I didn't come here to find anybody who's decided to take the day off. I came here because we're players. We're one. And today I'm asking you, because I always make an ask, I'm asking you to make a call for financial transparency in the National Football League. Because we can't provide solutions if we don't have basic answers. We can't engage in a process to do better, to achieve the best, if we don't know the basic facts of how much money they make, how much money they take out. I know $8 billion in revenue. I know 400% growth. I understand when state and local governments give three, four, five hundred million dollars in stadium support. I get it. And to borrow a line from someone who I do call as a friend, I may be new at this job, but I'm not new at anything called fairness. I may be new in this job, but I've never been in a business negotiation where both sides don't understand the value of the thing that you are negotiating over. And I may be new in this job, but I understand the sacrifices that players made in the past were made for the benefit of the people in the future. So my ask is simple. 
because I understand what we do. I understand what my job is. I understand our core being. And you know what our core being is? We lead. We lead. The people in this room lead. The people in this room have been leaders on their teams. The people in this room have been on the board. They've been on our executive committee. They have fought the fights of making the everyday lives of the players of this game better tomorrow than it was today because we lead. And the message for the people who are not here, I understand that we lead. Join us and lead because that's what we do. So the call that I have for you today is I'm asking for you to do and pass a resolution calling for full financial transparency in the National Football League. I will take that upon myself to lead and to ask you for that. My second ask for the people who are not here, for y'all, challenge them tomorrow to lead with you, to join you in the call for financial transparency. Because there might be a number of things that we can argue about, but we can all agree on one thing. The business of football is very, very good. And the more we know, the more we understand, the more transparency there is, the more we can get it right. So today, your challenge is your resolution. Tomorrow, your challenge, find the people who lead with you. Because our challenges, our challenges has always produced leaders. And your challenges, not only to the people who are here, but to the people who are not here, we will find out who wants to lead. We will find out who wants to lead. Men, women, man, I'm there. I'm there. I'm ready to roll because I believe in one mission. We are players of the National Football League. And I know that there is a lot of healing that I have to do, and I promise you, I will do it. But I will do it for one simple reason. I believe in one locker room, one team. One locker room, one team. One locker room, one team. So let the word go forth. I uh, might be new at this, but I understand my job. You understand your mission. And thank you for letting me be a part of the players of the National Football League. Thank you. Thank you.